we have never seen a bed bug infestation like this before. Bed bugs, they die when the temperature hits between 117 and 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Freaking a uh, dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. I mean, literally, that's how bad it was. I'm like, like, what kind of drugs are you on, dude? I could see somebody smoking pot or something, but when you're stealing from people and stealing, yeah, sure, you know, it, it's habit. worse than that, dude. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I have 11 kids, you know, and God, don't take from me. You know, I'd help anybody in a heartbeat, but. Hello, Bayless. Okay, um, Dave, come on in, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, come on in. That's clear and everything is, there's nobody in the clouds of dust come off and then fresh. So it's a small part, but it looks like this, the whole, you know, it threw out. It's Put on a couch. Stay calm for Navy. Guy, you know, he's like denying it for a little while, but finally the guy admits that. He gets really drunk, and he gets so drunk he passes out on his couch and just shits his pants. This is every day. He tells us that he just stacks his pants in the corner of his apartment, just filled with poop. Oh no, I'm, I'm emotional, yeah I am, but I know how to control it after a little bit, you know? Sure. Yeah, do I want to go through the ceiling? Yes, I fucking do, <laughs> but sure. you know. I know, it sucks. Uh, it's, uh, what, was, mean, what was the whole story? Like, what all happened? Because I know you... Well, I was paying rent, Yeah. remember? And then, sure. Okay, and every time I give him money to pay rent every month, what uh, would happen uh, was, he was turning around using it for drugs. Sure. So it comes to the end of it, then I see an eviction every three months. Mm -hmm. So that's when I'd go and drop the $2,100 or the 1800 and you guys see. Yeah. And you know what? Because it would be I, like three months of rent is what you're saying. Yeah, so you, you see would... what I, if you go back and look at the paperwork, I was, I was doing it because Katie, the one that, you know, Katie and Rob, mm -hmm. uh, Katie went and got a five-year restraining order on him because mm -hmm. I guess he was obsessive or whatever but i've known him since i was little so i'm like all right let me i had nowhere to go let me help you blase my mom just passed away you know so i'm like okay not knowing the situation i got myself in mm -hmm. so then i said okay i called lakewood cops get the fuck out and that's when i walked up to you guys and i talked to you guys and uh, the lady at the desk and everything and let them know like you know i'll take over well they said he had a, um i'll take over as long as the lease is in my name well what she said is uh I said, I can afford the $750. they are like, oh no, $895 was the deposit. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, well, that would have been different. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, then I can't, I can't afford it. When we came over here, the back door was unlocked. So I, I did come in the house, you know, I said, I'll call that the cops. I don't give a shit. Because sure. I got a 65 and 75 inch, you know, you, all this shit that I had. Sure. So I'm like, you know what? If they show up, they show up. But it's all I can name off the lease and I don't know because they, he wanted him out there saying that I'd take responsibility or something like that. He never did so hey I got screwed. Mm -hmm. You know point blank period bottom line so I mean there's nothing I could do about it you know I would have paid it I would have took over the 750 kept it going and you know maintained and I painted the walls he did all this shit I'm like you know yeah, I mean, so you haven't seen him since or whatever? Or um, like it's I've seen him when he brought the cops over here trying to take my BMW because the plates are on in his name. Mm -hmm. And I told the cops, I said, no, that's my BMW running in. Yeah. I wanted to die. I didn't have any problems with any cop folks. Until these cops came in and took the car. Mm -hmm. I was going to be dead. Mm -hmm. And now I got a bug. I want, I want some kind of answer to this shit, not for the last couple complaints I've had. Thank you for fixing my show, by the way. Fine. As we went on further in that building, that tub wasn't even the worst thing we saw. Take a look at this toilet. Imagine if you had to sit on this thing. This is the freaking grossest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And you know what? This is how some people live. Sure. That's why I said, you know what? That's why I said, screw it. I, I turn around and then I see, like, not even the next day, because I, I think it was a Saturday or Sunday. And I'm like, grab my bed too. Fuck it. While we got a truck, you know? Mm -hmm. The next day is when the, um, 
the window was boarded up and the door was locked because I yeah. double checked because I tell you I come over here every day to make sure nothing comes up missing nothing's out of place because you know I don't want it to fall back on me you know that sure, yeah. well, I mean it was going through in the end but God you know but no I don't want them to come in here and start living in the house smoking up like it's crack house or something my shit's in here well, you know what I'm saying do damage to the property no sure. not as long as my shit's in here because like this shit's going to get cleaned up before I leave I'm not that type of person mm -hmm. You know, I'm not dirty, I'm not, but I'll be damned somebody takes my shit and I worked hard for mine. My, my daughter just broke my 75 inch flat screen TV. We just had it up in the house for a week. Josh just got an exchange charge. Oh. He's getting charged as an adult. Huh? Where are you scared from? They're, uh, Star, uh, Star County, Star County? Star County? He's coming to pick him up. He's a juvenile. He's 18 and he was, uh, sent over from ODYS, you know, as doing, Juby life, basically, to your like, mm -hmm. um, I guess he just walked up to the gate, just thought he was going to leave, so now they're giving him a state charge. He didn't even leave the facility, though. Hmm. I said, okay, well, let me call you back for some second. Um, all the stuff in the basement, it's not mine. The other washer and the sink, everything else, and we're just almost done with upstairs, so. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Uh, I'm trying. I'm <laughs> trying. No, it's good. Fucking so hungry and I am tired and I shit. Get it. No, it's night and day different than it was. So, yeah, yeah. really good. It's cool. I'm trying, you know. Sure. Cool. I appreciate it, you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, your brother's uh, in charge of an adult. Joshua. You're giving him a cake charge. Everyone saw that? Huh? Everyone saw that? Yeah, he was at daycare. Um, I don't usually send my kids to daycare. Um, Thursday, he went to daycare. I didn't send him Friday, didn't send him Monday. Tuesday, I went, you know, I'm a nurse. So they, um, the lady's like, can you check this little baby out? You know, I think she, the mom said she has an yeast infection. I was like, well, the mom best feeds, whatever. That's comical. That's normal. But then I seen little bumps on her. I said, no, she has hand foot and mouth. Mm -hmm. So not even that next day, I go to take him to daycare because he didn't have nothing. You know, and mom's, I'm like, get documentation. Make sure that's what it is. And I looked at him this mor in the morning. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So I took him to the doctor. And I'm like, he's got a hand put him out. Here's your documentation. I'll get the daycare clean and get them the fuck out. You know, point blank period. Sure. That's contagious as hell. But um, so I'm sitting there talking to this bailiff and he's got this weird look on his face. I said, something's wrong, isn't it? And he says, something is very wrong. And I said, what's going on? And they said, well, your, your tenants are over here. And he said, we've got a carload of people over here trying to get in your property. And I said, huh? I but like, oh, you know, what's that supposed to mean? I don't know. What are you talking about? What's, what's going on here? And he, he gets on his phone and he says, I need backup. I need some more police here. Maybe the fire department. 